Well, good morning. Today is the day that British Petroleum decides whether they're going to do the top kill procedure on the Deepwater Horizon oil well. This is where they shoot, I believe the estimate was 10,000 or 20,000 pounds of heavy drilling mud into the well. The idea being that it is heavier along with the sea pressure than the pressure coming out of the well. This fills up the top of the well, holds the oil down until they can pour concrete in and plug the well. They are only estimating a 60 to 70 percent chance of success. This has never been done at this depth. It has been done successfully on the surface, on above ground. This has never been done at this depth underwater. Considering how successful they've been so far, I'm not holding my breath. Uh, this spill, and I, I hesitate to even call it a spill anymore. This is a release. This is a geyser. This is a gusher. The amount of oil that's coming out is just... It's... It's sickening. Um, Jean-Michel Cousteau and Philippe Cousteau, the son and grandson of uh, Jacques Cousteau. I actually dove into the water where this pill is. About 25 miles offshore of Louisiana. The water there looks more like salad dressing. Uh, the oil, because of the dispersants instead of floating on the surface, is actually 20, 30 feet deep uh, with this mixture of oil globules and salt water. Um, nothing's going to survive in that. It's going to block oxygen from entering the water from above because it's, it's just salad dressing. It, it's, it's ugly. Uh, dead fish. surface which has been weathered but it has this consistency of latex paint it actually stretches it's uh, it just it just it just makes me sick uh, this is going to take a long 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 time to recover from nature is resilient nature will recover but all those industries the tourism industry the fishing industry shrimping oysters those industries that rely on the Gulf are going to be damaged and damaged for a long time. A lot of people are screaming about, where's the president? Where's the administration? My question is, where do you want them to be? Uh, they have responded to this since day one. The problem is, is that what exactly do you expect them to respond with? The only equipment designed to work at that depth on this type of a situation is already there. It's owned by British Petroleum and the oil companies. The Navy doesn't have anything to do this. It, the, depth, the depth of this well is twice the crush depth of our subs. And our submarines are not designed to fix things. That's not what our subs are for. They're defense weapons. They're, they're you know, defense vessels. They're, they're not oil well repair grades. Uh, you know, the technology to do it's out there. The fact these guys can't get it done, well, that's a whole different issue. Uh, you know, people have talked about, oh, we should just nuke it. Well, yeah, okay, so let's have a bunch of radioactive waste and, you know, potentially make the oil radioactive that comes out of there. Um, also, there's no way of knowing yet if a blast of that size would fracture the seabed and cause even more leaks. So now you got oil going through radioactive, uh, radioactively charged 
seabed basically becoming radioactive and leaking into the, the Gulf. Not a great solution, as you know, the Russians have tried it. And they say it's worked five times, but you know, that's going back 40 years. We don't know. So I don't know what people expect the administration to do. I think what they should do is they need to hold BP to task. Um, frankly, I think they need to find them and find them hard. Um, and I don't care if it puts BP out of business. BP is a foreign company. We're having to clean up their mess. They don't pay the taxes they're supposed to here in the U.S. because they're a foreign company. They're based in London. I'm sorry, no, I'm not a, uh, ba, 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 I believe it's Sweden. Sweden. It's where their headquarters are. Why? Best tax base. Yeah, so they don't pay their fair share of taxes here. we got to clean up their mess. No. Find the crap out of them. And I mean, like I said, break them if you have to. Uh, this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. It is. This is going to take years, years and years to clean up. Um, you, they, they, we can't trust them to be stewards of our land. They've proven they, they, they're more motivated by their profits. Now, I do believe they want this fixed uh, because they know that every day that this goes on, this isn't about the oil. The amount of oil it's losing to them is nothing. Uh, what this is really about is they know the liability is going to go up there. And while there have been Republicans pushing back on raising the cap, and now the, the effort is not to raise the cap, it is to remove the cap, which I'm all for. Um, Republicans are pushing back, oh, that's bad for business, people aren't going to try things. Hey, there's an idea, let's not uh, have another oil spill. They're not going to be able to push back much longer, because the longer this go on, goes on, the more people are going to say, you know what? Find the bastards. Break them down if you have to. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, I'll be covering this in uh, the show this weekend. I have decided the first show, I still don't have a name for it, will be this weekend. We'll be discussing uh, the BP spill. We'll be talking about uh, the Texas State Board of Education curriculum guidelines for K-12 through on social studies. I thank you so much for the folks who have responded so far and uh, special thanks to Melissa for reposting it on Facebook. Um, I do have a band that I'm working on. Um, hopefully, hope to hear from them shortly. Um, but I'm not telling you who it is because in case I don't get them, I'm in the clear. Neener, neener, neener. Um, and let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, a little bit of a rant. I'm gonna talk about uh, how some folks. It doesn't matter how much fact you can show them. They're gonna stick to their guns about things blindly, and that's bad. So. Keep your comments coming, and uh, we'll see you a little later.